In day two of public hearings in the impeachment inquiry, America's former ambassador to Ukraine testified she felt threatened by President Donald Trump. And the president responded in real time on Twitter with this comment being read aloud during the hearing. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest now from Washington. Keith and Lauren, the ousted Ukraine ambassador, left today's hearing to cheers and applause after testimony that was marked by President Trump lobbing a tweet right into the middle of the proceedings. Marie Ivanovich was the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, a career public servant who testified she was abruptly pulled from her job after a smear campaign against her. And even as she described feeling threatened by President Trump. As we sit here testifying, the president is attacking you on Twitter. The president lashed out. Everywhere Marie Ivanovich went turned bad. In what Chairman Schiff considers real-time witness intimidation. It's very intimidating. Some of us here take witness intimidation very, very seriously. The president later firing back. I have the right to speak. I have freedom of speech, just as other people do. But they've taken away the Republicans' rights. Yovanovitch also said she was shocked and devastated to learn about the July call when President Trump told Ukraine's leader she was bad news and was going to go through some things. It didn't sound good. It sounded like a threat. Ambassador Yovanovitch testified the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, led efforts to falsely paint her as disloyal, aiming to clear the way for a shadow foreign policy that could help President Trump politically. Shady interests the world, the world over have learned how little it takes to remove an American ambassador who does not give them what they want. Republicans dismissing the ambassador's testimony as an HR matter, arguing she wasn't even on the job anymore when President Trump urged Ukraine's president to announce investigations into Joe Biden and the 2016 election while withholding military aid. The ambassador is not uh, a material fact witness. Uh, to anything. Also today, the White House released a summary of an earlier call between Presidents Trump and Zelensky trying to show he did nothing wrong. But Democrats say one call doesn't cancel out another. Lawmakers are also hearing private testimony today from a State Department official who reportedly overheard President Trump on the phone talking about investigations. And there's a closed door deposition set for tomorrow with a White House budget official. In Washington, Alice Barr, KPRC, Channel 2 News.